Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Hope you're well today. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to talk about how to get over an argument and how to recover or make up after an argument. So in today's relationships, loads of people are arguing. Relationships are one of the main lessons of the spirit or the soul that we are, having a human experience. The ways we often express our wounds and traumas so we it's a way in which we like express destruction or hurt because we're hurt so it takes a victim to make another person a victim it takes a victim to make a victim so relationships with other people are biggest challenges in life generally it's where we express our hurts and pains and anything that's unhealed in us is where we take it out in a relationship or with other people. So, a lot of the time, we don't also know how to make up after an argument. And things just get worse and worse and go down a spiral. Okay, of hurt, pain and drama or confusion and problems, okay. So in this video, I want to make a video for my heart to help you to be able to get better from having arguments. So there's a lot of inner work regarding avoiding an argument, but this video is more so got to do with how to recover from an argument, okay? Here I am in the beautiful British Columbia in Coston, in Canada. Totally and utterly surrounded by nature. Absolutely gorgeous with our dog Digger. He's He's sharpening his teeth or cleaning his teeth, exercising his jaw. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> so, anyway, I was gonna say, we'll get to the point, okay? After an argument, what usually happens is people like separate and go downhill, and it just gets worse and goes out of proportion and escalates, gets worse and worse. But what I found is what's most important after an argument is to make up. And then it's almost like the argument didn't happen if you can make up properly. <laughs> so I feel like being very ultra sweet, very, very sweet and sensitive and gentle after an argument. It's very important to do that. And you don't need the other person to do it first. You just need to do it first. Um, what causes arguments is people like trying to be right and force the other person to listen to them. We're fighting to be loved, basically speaking. We're fighting to be heard, fighting to be understood. Basically speaking, we're fighting to be loved in all the different ways love exists. To be understood, listened to, that's all love. To be cared for, that's love. We're fighting to be cared for and loved. Maybe even appreciated. So when people don't give easily, when they have blockages and wounds and traumas and stuff, obstructions in their mind and their heart, chakras, or just their overall mind and heart, that's when people become troublemakers, as some people, Eckhart Tolle might say, the more unconscious we are, the more we become a troublemaker. So I'll rephrase that, I'll use that word too, exactly the same thing, but the more like unhealed and blocked and obstructed we are, the more we become troublemakers and hurt each other. It takes a victim to make a victim. A healed person doesn't go around traumatizing others and making them like victims and traumatized because they aren't traumatized anymore. They act consciously and carefully and unblocked state, mostly. So, so it's imperative to get healing, but to try and make up after an argument you need to really be sweet and gentle and try quit the ego struggle of trying to be the right one or the one who's the victim and they were wrong. That's basically what causes issues. But I saw a lovely quotation on Facebook the other day, yesterday, and it said, it's more important to, to do the right thing than to be right, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the after a stick. Here, Digger. Ready? Go. <laughs> Too small. He likes big ones. So you want to embody the energy of a dog, an animal. See? Very friendly, easygoing, almost. You don't want to be a big, heavy. Do you ever like feel like the victim after an argument? There's a big, huge, heavy feeling inside of you because we're hurt. We've been hurt, and we've hurt the other person probably too. We may have said things that have been out of proportion, or blown out of proportion, or exaggerated. Or so, you want to embody like the Forrest Gump, like the teachings talk about. You know, embody the simpleton. 
the animal. You want to make your heart bigger than your mind. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so anyway, continuing on. Huh? We need to try with a stick. Let's get try with a stick. So we're just making an active video, okay? Keep Digger happy at the same time. So... This is so the most important thing is if you have an argument, if you make up, it's almost like you raise the argument. It's like you make it you make it disappear. But if you don't heal the argument, then it just keeps like adding up argument after argument. Disconnection after disconnection, hurt after hurt, and you're just like digging a deeper hole. So, saying sorry and saying I love you, stuff like that, gentleness, sweetness, hugging, affection, offering a massage is very good. Human touch of some kind. Sometimes people want to be left alone, but if they want to be left alone, you need to respect that, but also try and be super sweet and gentle and tender also, and uh, respect their feelings at the, mo at the moment. Just be... Be, be continuous and consistent in being sweet instead of getting frustrated and losing hope because they're not reciprocating your newfound heart opening. If, they're, if you open your heart first for them, don't let them being slower to open their heart than you frustrate you and demoralize you and then you close your heart again and snap back and give out, give out to them again. So if you heal an argument, then it's like you can grow closer after the argument instead of continuously getting like cracked, like a rock that's getting more and more cracked. And eventually it's just gonna crumble and shatter and break and the relationship will be over. And all that's happened is a whole lot of pain. So that's how you get over an argument. That's basically it. Let your heart be bigger than your mind and your ego and needing to be right. Um, usually what's really important is if you can just if you can understand the needs of another person and understand your own needs um, and you can let your heart be bigger than your mind, then things should settle into place as long as you can keep your heart open. So that's what your job is, to keep your heart open. And then eventually that person will get right. But you also need to unblock your mind and your false beliefs and any confusions or like traumas. So always work at healing. So that's how you avoid argument, just basically cleaning up your body, cleaning up your life, cleaning up your past, cleaning up your mind and your heart. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'm sure I could say a lot more, but this is basically the, 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 the gist of it, the most important part. Okay. Okay, so it's also um, totally important to learn from your mistakes. Like, that's imperative to avoid making future uh, arguments. So, you want to, like be willing to say you were wrong or at least you weren't perfect i find it like extremely if you made obvious mistakes say it's totally made a blunder or a big mistake i'm really sorry i was an idiot or stupid or like be humble and honest okay if you feel you didn't make any big mistakes or you made like if you felt you just simply weren't a saint say i'm sorry i wasn't perfect with my energy like because usually we're never perfect with our energy to be honest like we can always be more aligned and heart-centered and comp patient and compassionate and we can always be better or more perfect so just simply be fair and kind and say I'm sorry I wasn't like I didn't handle the situation perfectly like I wasn't fully as good as I could have been just be genuine and sincere and say sorry like care for someone's feelings and then second of all try learn from your mistakes together like don't focus on the problem for too long also so try learn from your mistakes and each other's mistakes learn from their mistakes so you don't do their, the mistake they made and you also learn from your own mistakes so you don't commit the same mistake again in the future tell them you care for them and you're trying to make the relationship better and you're trying not to make the same mistake again and um, try also learn like the cause of an argument so like listen and learn what the other person like wants and needs in a relationship like listen to their like what they might need security they might need more social life they might need to be, be more creative they might need to have a rest better they might need privacy sometimes they might need more social interactions they might have a there's lots of things people like want and like and need. We don't want to be really selfish, but we also have to be fair to ourselves and like 
like not to be a people's pleaser, not to be a walkover, not to be controlled, but also not to be forceful to other people too. So we don't want to put demands, expectations, and and um, demands and expectations on other people. We we want to be gentle and loving and caring and compassionate and considerate. So we want to improve ourselves in all ways in order to have a really good relationship and to heal from an argument. Also, being super sweet. So you just basically keep learning and learning and learning as much as possible, and be kind like make up buy flowers or buy a little gift or a present or make or a surprise do something like romantic even just be sweet be nice there's a million ways to be sweet buy them their favorite little present or something or whatever else so just be thoughtful is what i'm saying here also be really thoughtful some people might like to read the book buy them a little book some people might like flowers some people might like whatever they like a day out somewhere or something so that's all i really want to say um it's very important to learn about yourself and another person so you, you can avoid having an argument and recover from an argument. So. And if it's an abusive relationship, then it's hard to make up. If one person's only trying to make up but the other person doesn't want to like work or do effort in the relationship, then sometimes you also have to call an end to a relationship, especially if it's like abusive and very destructive or harmful. Then you can't, you can't try and rely on your own sweetness. The other person has to have a degree, a large degree of effort and willingness to work on the relationship and to learn and to grow and to heal also. So you need two people trying, otherwise, you know, there's not a compatibility factor there. Generally, when to have a very happy relationship, you need to have a compatibility factor too. Like, you can't have someone who's a complete, like, loves to stay in the house playing computer games all day with someone who's a massive nature lover and loves me outdoors all day. Obviously, they're not going to be a suitable match. So you need to have common things, and when it, so it, you need to be able to have a share life together for a relationship. They should be generally your best friend or a very close friend, and then you add in sexual sexuality and romance. That's what changes from a friendship to a relationship. So there's no point in trying to be in a relationship with someone who you know you're not even a good, very good friend. Um, sharing history like. After being in, after being friends or in a relationship for a few years, isn't a good enough reason to stay in a relationship. Like just because you know each other well and you're familiar with each other, that's not good enough reason to be in a relationship. Just usually that's like you're afraid to be on your own or a fear of change. Like don't settle for an average or crap relationship, especially never stay in an abusive relationship. If you're in an abusive relationship, you should get out of that as soon as possible, no matter what you need to do, and sleep on your family member's like, couch if you need to be. Get out and seek support and help. Don't, you're, you're worth the best, you're not worth the worst. So don't stay in the worst type of relationship where you're being hurt and abused, either physically, mentally, or emotionally. Um, like, seriously. But if it's just general like arguments, then try and, you can fix that if you're both willing. But if you're not, if you're not both willing, then think about why you're in the relationship in the first place are you afraid to be single so okay i'll leave you i'll leave you with that that's another one that's finished thanks <laughs> <laughs> thanks honey appreciate that so much thanks okay is that okay yeah So yeah, I'll leave you with that everyone because I'm just relaxing on play with the dog. But if you want, if you'd like to work with me one to one and get relationship coaching or communication coaching or life coaching or health coaching, that's what I specialize and I'm passionate to do. It's like my favorite thing to do in the world is like help people, help the global community and individual spirits having a life here. So I've been through all sorts of stuff in relationships and life health, mind, emotions. So I love to, I've walked the walk and this is where I help people in, what I have personal experience in. So I hope this video helps you and your loved ones and family and relationship. And I'd love you to connect with me on Facebook. Thank you for everyone who shares the video. I really, really appreciate that. And sharing my work and passion and vision at the same time. Because I, I envision a much more healed, happier, together world. And where people are more in, like able to love access the love that they are and the light through healing and clearing up their blockages and wounds and traumas so um, 
Thank you for your comments and support and sharing as I said and if you want to also check out my herb shop I do, I sell herbs, superfoods, enzymes and essential oils just to empower, heal and spice up your life, your love life, your essential oil, smell life, your energy, all your adrenal glands, your endocrine gland system, just all sorts of herbs, herbal medicine for different things. So have a look below please and other than that I look forward to seeing you in another video and, and also subscribe if you're new, feel welcome and let's all connect and change the world together. Because we're all a human family here and we all influence each other. So when you heal your relationship, you're healing our relationships together. Because the more examples of a healthy relationship and a healthy person, we inspire and can teach and show and embody that energy to help others to heal and to get there also. So keep doing your work, everybody. Do your passion, even whatever it is. We all have different gifts and passions and strong points, so keep working on your weak and strong points and keep sharing your heart and your passion and inspiration. Keep being creative. It's one of the most nice things to do in the world. We've come here to learn, grow, expand, experience and to create. So we are creators. So create lovely stuff. Right now I'm creating a video. We created movement with, with the dog. Um, we can create and express love. We've come here to express and to create as we learn and grow and develop and change and transform and transmute, etc. So just go out there and do your thing. That's what I want you to do in this video. Do your thing. Don't wait for permission from other people. Don't wait for your mum or your dad to approve you or anybody. Do your thing. Do your thing. Whatever it is. Dancing, art, anything. Whatever it is. We all do different things. So do your thing and be happy in life, okay? Uh, lots of love everyone. Take care and thanks to Zoomy for making the video. <laughs> and Digger. And to see everybody. Have a lovely day. Lots of love everyone. Mwah. Love you. Have a lovely day. Thanks for being here. You're a brave soul coming to air to this crazy time. <laughs> Diggy wants to play. Eh? Too far away. Sorry, Digger. <laughs>